You're looking at a live picture from our Martinsville New College Institute sky cam. Nice to see sunshine returning today. Nice to see 98.8% of us dry as we headed into the day today. Now that does not mean that we're completely out of the woods. We've got a front and close proximity to us. So a stray thunder shower too is still possible here for the next little while. The radar very quiet for a change. We do have one little shower into eastern Nelson County, but the vast majority of these showers and thunderstorms have been south of the border into North Carolina. We've got a pretty nasty cell just south of Roxboro, North Carolina. This is heading more towards Durham, North Carolina here over the next hour or so. So again, today most of the rain has been in areas south of us towards the Carolinas. That's where we have a frontal boundary, but that frontal boundary is still close enough to us where we can't rule out the chance for a few thunder showers from now through about maybe 9, 10 o'clock or so. So as we take a look ahead, future tracker showing that at 11 o'clock again, still can't rule out a possibility for a stray little shower or two. Otherwise, the rest of tonight is partly cloudy. Patchy fog is possible later tonight. And then Thursday starts dry with skies probably mostly sunny to start the day. So we head into the afternoon, maybe a few more clouds towards the mountains. Otherwise, we are dry. Everybody is dry on Thursday. Then Friday, probably gonna have a little more cloud cover around. We're gonna call it partly sunny on Friday. I think the morning hours are dry on Friday, but I cannot rule out a little shower into our westernmost counties as we head into Friday afternoon. The vast majority of us are dry on Friday, but I cannot rule out a stray shower into the mountains as we head late into Friday afternoon. Tropical development over the next five days, the chance is getting higher. OK, we're watching this cluster of showers and thunderstorms in between Cuba and also the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. National Hurricane Center gives us about a 60% chance of development here over the next five days. Could become even a named storm, and if it does, his name would be Alberto. And it looks like it's going to bring a lot of rain to the Gulf Coast states uh, into Florida. Uh, it looks like Mobile could see close to three inches of rain. Miami could see over eight inches of rain. For us here, as we head late in the holiday weekend into early next week, we're going to have a much better shot for rain. One to maybe three inches of rain possible with the storm system. Have to watch it closely because uh, there's still a lot of question marks as to exactly the track it's going to take. Stay tuned. Top five wettest May through May the 23rd, 2003 is number one at 8.39 inches. The rain we got yesterday has put 2018 back to number two at 8.19 inches. So right now this is the second wettest May we've ever had and it is still the hottest May ever on record with an average temperature of 71.8 followed by 1953, which had an average temperature of 70.2. So this could feasibly be the hottest and wettest May we've ever had. We'll see what happens over the next week or so. 83 right now in Lynchburg, 79 in Blacksburg, 78 in Withville. Your forecast for tonight, if there are any showers around, they will end otherwise partly cloudy with patchy fog overnight. Lows are in the 50s and lower 60s. Now as we head into the day tomorrow, mix of sun and clouds, we are warm. Highs in the mountains in the 70s. Everybody else in the 80s. Extended forecast. 80s are with us through Sunday, 70s on Monday, near 80 Tuesday and Wednesday. Soak in Thursday, soak in Friday. Mm -hmm. Even the first part of Saturday looks pretty good. Then late Saturday into Sunday. Hit or miss thunder showers are possible. I don't think Saturday and Sunday are washouts. Monday, meh. Nah. Memorial Day looks like it will be the wettest out of the uh, holiday weekend days. And then that chance for some heavy rain may be with us into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week as well.